Well, it's no secret that 2020 has been one hell of a year. It's been shit, hasn't it? The whole world got turned upside down. Everything got cancelled. Everything closed. But it hasn't all been bad, my friends, because 2020 was the year after four years of hard work behind the scenes that I finally reunited all four original cast members of Dirty Sanchez. What's up, we did it before we went on stage. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, we did it, and then we could not do it. So on Saturday, September the 5th, I met up with Pritchard, Pancho, Joycey, and Dayton, all four of the boys, in Pritchard's barbershop in Cardiff. We had a few beers, we sat down, we let the cameras roll, and we discussed, with no holds barred, the history of Dirty Sanchez, the most raucous, reckless, depraved, entertaining, Hilarious TV show, I think, MTV ever aired. I was in a hotel room once and I wiped my bum on the pages <laughs> of all of this. It was a gift from the Skiddians. <laughs> <laughs> you you literally <laughs> skidded on it and you just closed it and put it back Spongy in the ring. Like, wow. <laughs> and I thought it would be a good idea, like you see in the courts with the Bible, I thought I'd swear them in just to make sure that they all told the truth. I just only swear to. Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's good enough. And do you know what? If, if you can turn water into wine, I'm definitely in. <laughs> As is often the case, though, with every podcast interview, live Q&A, tour promo, or indeed anything that I do with these boys, you give them a script, you say, this is the way things are going to go. That script very quickly goes right out the window and you just got to freestyle it. you got to wing it. And that's exactly what we did. If you've lost control of the horse, let's fucking go, baby. Uh, take those. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take the shackles off. All right, cool. Now we've kind of relived a bit of that. I'm going to set it up again. But after a while, like I do, because I'm the fifth Beatle, I brought it back around. I got that train back on track. I got the boys reminiscing about how and when they first met. And then from there, the conversation started to flow a lot more freely. And then we got into it. The untold, unexplored, undiscovered, if you will, story of Dirty Sanchez. So we're gonna hop back in now a few minutes down the line and join the boys. And this is it, man. This is the first time in over a decade Pritchard, Dayton, Pancho and Joycey have all been in a room on camera together. Enjoy the fucking show. I reckon we're about 17, 18. Um, like, obviously, you know, <laughs> we all know what you are now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Fucking hell. We all fuck it. No, work, listen, work, this yeah. is my first impression, so I'm just saying, you definitely wasn't who you are. No, you were fucking quiet. A fucking, like, you would skate and you didn't, you were fucking, like, just going back and forth, you know, trying, like, tricks on the card, if bangs, head down. Wasn't really, like, saying much. You were fucking pretty fucking quiet. And I was a mouthy bastard, so I just thought, oh, it was that guy. Because I, you know, just kept, I noticed his wheels on his fucking skateboard, didn't I? I was like, oh, nice wheels. He had vision swirl blurs. And I was like, they, they look fucking nice. And so that's my first recollection of Pritch. I, re I remember his fucking wheels. I remember his, his hair, you looked like you had like soap in it to try and make it go like into dreads or something. They, your hair was going back. And, um, and yeah, yeah, pretty much quiet version of, you know, like you could have had a dog on a string or something, but yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> because you had wheels as well, which I like, because you had... Uh, I like your you, wheels. You, 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 he he had, had the OJ, like my wheels. He, he had the OJ twos, and I was like, whoa, look at those wheels. So he liked my wheels, I liked his wheels. Tony York fringe, <laughs> like six pack, big muscles. You thought that? <laughs> Fucking hell! No, I'm I've got to get to know him. Know him. <laughs> <laughs> Brad from me, but... <laughs> no, I, I, no, no, Brad my, 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 honestly, my, like, he just said I was quiet, and I was, I was quiet, I was quiet as a mouse. All I did was just skate, I didn't really say boo to a ghost, and I wouldn't say boo to a ghost now, but he was, he was the, the literally the polar opposite, loud as fuck, because he was a builder at the time, Fuck, you know, coming up with shagging stories and fucking builder stories, and I'm just like going, oh my god, no, oh fucking hell, all you ever talked about is shagging. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I was just like, I didn't know what to say. I was like the shy guy going, oh, he fucks everything. <laughs> fucking hell. I was like, ah, fucking hell, fucking hell, oh, look at those birds. Whoa. So Pancho was a few years later, and yeah, it was, I think I might have actually seen you on a skate video before I actually met you in person. Thugs. 
All right? Thanks! <laughs> thanks! Oh, thanks! <laughs> thanks! <laughs> I thought he just went, thanks! <laughs> no! No, no! But while you're there, you know, All right. I'll take it. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were Well, next time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, yeah, no. Um, no, seriously, like, my, my first real kind of, like, Connection with Panjo was uh, I was queuing up outside a club in. Oh. in, in <laughs> I was queuing up outside a club in Swansea. Uh, Martha's. Martha's, yeah, and it was like a fucking big ass queue. This fucking dude walked up. He goes, "All right, Dane," and I went, "Oh, all right, Panjo, what's happening?" Do you remember like, us oh. all huddled up with this? Yeah, yeah. He said, "Do you want to buy any bass?" <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't. I didn't. I wouldn't have then. No. I disagree. No, I just thought he was too young to get... I thought, yeah, I was like, what the fuck, where are you going in here? You were like, yep. I'm like, well, they're going to lay you in here. Because like, you were like about fucking... You were what, 15? I, I was 15. Yeah, but you were fucking small as well. Yeah, I know. And I actually had a... I doctored a year's passport. You used to be able to get it from the post office to go to Germany with you for Munster and stuff. So, yeah, that's, that, that was probably the first time we actually spoke because yeah. I was kind of like... Well, I'm not intimidated by you. I just thought, who's this fucking valley fucking... Well, I can see if... Uh, <laughs> Brad from Neighbours. <laughs> We're Brad from Neighbours, who was actually fucking ripping on mini rap. <laughs> yeah, so it was a lot of mixed emotion. <laughs> Fuck it, do it! Do it! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you can't do two! Oh, man, these are the days. What I do to press the white. <laughs> Yeah, this thing was really good on this, wasn't it? For the time. Cut a bit. You're watching Pritchard versus Dave. This video to come out. Go on, keep on talking. You're fucking working yourself off, you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 let's get sucking some cock, baby! <laughs> Seeing half the shit done on there, wouldn't, I just wouldn't do that. No, well, you couldn't do it. No, you'd be fucking arrested. When we was watching it back, I was thinking, oh, shit, so there was something that happened in it. When I, I said he's been snowing his fucking pricking tits off on Slap Him, and he says, stop fucking snoring. He turns over and he's in, bed, he's in bed with this other girl. And, and we, was watching, we was watching the fucking raw footage, right? We was round uh, Br uh, Brad Hockridge's house, who we work for, for, for Globe, through Globe Distribution. So we was around his house at this house party, and I just happened to have the tape on me, and they were like, well, what have you been up to? We're like, oh, you should check this footage out from uh, the trip we did with, with Globe. So that was the hotel that Globe had paid for. So we're, we're in it. I slapped him. Pritchard's then girlfriend was was next to him at this house party and she sees him in bed with fucking some other bird. She just goes fucking bananas, like fucking bananas. And she says, right, someone call me a taxi. And fucking like this guy goes, taxi! <laughs> she just fucking just fucking ran out the house. It was like, oh my god. <laughs> You used to be a little bit loose for your morals, didn't you, Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, you didn't fucking help. <laughs> you were a fucking. I, I'll never forget. I keep looking back and going, "Oh man, I've been caught shag. I've been caught fucking shagging again." Oh, you, oh, you <laughs> Matthew, you, 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 you know, uh, like Joycey's fucking advice column, like fucking <laughs> agony aunt Joycey. Oh, what do I do, Dan? Oh, you're best just telling the truth. Honestly, you know, get it out there. And every time I told the truth, they got me in right shit. <laughs> <laughs> Slap, I was like, fuck down, I told the truth, they got me as well. He went, well, she knows now, doesn't she? You can't argue with the truth. Well, no, you can't. Well, no, it is right. <laughs> I, it, once, once, right? So, look, it's not bad. We were young. It, 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 we, we, can we cut it out? Is it the sandwich <laughs> thing? No, 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 no. It's quite harmless. It was like when he got caught, in, got caught with that, <laughs> that girl, he... He went home once with a, with a different girlfriend when he was a lot younger, and and um, I can't. He had he had all grass stains on him, right, from shagging. Oh, oh, yeah, this is fucking. This is my favourite. See, as he's fucking has all these grass stains on him, you're like, oh, am I gonna fucking get around this? No, so he just. He just starts rolling round in the grass in the mud. And what do you say? You just say you run home and fell over and kicking yeah, Well, they went, we're missing, because obviously it was shagging some bird, and she ripped the living, she sick. I remember it was in the, it was in the student fucking blocks, not far from where I'm living now, and we're in the, in the shower, she's, I'm fucking her, and she's just going, ah, and I'm scrambling my back, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like going, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, 
any, any other time, cool, but like, fuck, how am I going to explain these scrams? And I'm like, going, shag, and I go, and she's going, ah, and I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I was like, and I was walking home, and I was going, oh my God, I'm, f I'm like, literally torn to bits. And I'm like, how am I going to get away with this? I go, fuck, fuck. So I rolled in the grass and fucking scrammed myself in nettles and shit. And, shit. and I got over and she went, where the fuck have you been? She went, you're not going to believe it. I said, the doorman beat me up. I said, and I fucking, I was so pissed I fell asleep in a bush. <laughs> and she went, oh, you fucking dickhead, go to fucking bed. I went, I, I got away with it. I just went to sleep. Oh, fucking hell. But to go back to, go back to that video, yeah, I mean, that, 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 those are those days. You know, those are those days. So when you go back, you're going back 20, 20 years. Now, that's 19 years ago. And, uh, yeah, like, literally... You know, the world was your oyster. You, you didn't know, like, what was behind the curtain, so you were naive as fuck. And everything was glowing and fucking good, and, like, everything was fucking, like, just the best shit, and you couldn't do anything fucking wrong. And it didn't matter where you were going, you were going to have a fucking good time. <laughs> Look at the fucking colour of that, man! <laughs> you can't put that online. It's scat, isn't it? It's pretty dark. It's like, and I, I, I thought about it. It might be on Pornhub. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day and I was like, oh, fuck, this was... Even now, it's still pretty fucking full-on. Like, and I, th I, I think it's just the way it's shot, the, the fact that it was Sunday morning in Rove Park and, like... Like, I think the key to comedy is timing. Like, you don't want to be hanging around with shit on your face too long. <laughs> just <laughs> put the fit shit in your face, wipe it off and gone, bang. And it was a bit like that. You watched it and you was like, what have I just seen? <laughs> It's because I think it's because you're just laughing and it's just yeah. dripping off you. And the, and the worrying thing was the consistency of that shit. <laughs> you know, it, it wasn't like a solid fucking log, plop in, plop off. I used to it's have like, ideas back It's then. like Scatman shit. Like, I mean, <sighs> I mean the, 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 you know, the, the good thing about, well, the good and the bad thing about it is, like, that park is my local running park. So every time I do a loop, I always look and go, <laughs> that's where Dan's shit in well, his face. A loop, a loop, a loop. Every time I go for a run, I just go, Dan shit in the spot, Dan shit in the spot, Dan shit in the spot. Every fucking time, without, without fail. I... Can I ask you a serious question? What? If you was jogging past on a Sunday morning out, and as you looked up, someone just went, <laughs> and went, <laughs> and slapped it in his face, and then was going, oh, get this shit off me, as he was jogging past on a nice Sunday morning. What, what, would, you, what would you do now? Well, after seeing it. I, was <laughs> going to go. I thought you were going to see it eight years ago, mate. Oh, no, the no, thing no. is, as I was about to do it, I was ready to go, and like, there was some guy walked past, and he saw me, and he went, oh, don't go swimming in there, it's disgusting. And I was like, don't worry about that, mate, I'm about to shit in my hand and smash it in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, those pants, they were uh, fortune cookies. <laughs> <laughs> the light is quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> Get this shit off me. <laughs> oh, look how thin I was. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I just jump in the lake now? Like, I, 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 I was looking at the water of the lake thinking that looks really dirty and I want to jump in there. <laughs> I should have just jumped in. Oh, I'd have fucking jumped in a fucking building on fire with my face yeah. like that shit, don't I? I should have just jumped in. What have you been eating? I know. Pills. I used to have IBS back then. <laughs> yeah. MDMA back then. <laughs> Probably. Oh, it's everywhere. I, I like to think of it as, like, performance art now. Yeah. And it's dealing with all the shit in your life all in one go and then everything else being much easier afterwards. Because it was after that. That's the fucking reason why when everyone saw that shit, they were like, oh, these boys mean business. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they were like, they're willing to go the fucking extra, <laughs> extra fucking mile. Like. So, you know, if it, like, my dad said, like, why, why did you put that in the video? Why did you put it in the video? And I was like, because it, it, it needed to fucking be in it. It's, you know, he's like, ah. Uh, and he just, he was like, Pff. It would definitely divided the industry, didn't it? Like, and there's still people that don't talk to me now because of that. That needed to be in the video for, like, people to fucking shop, literally... Shop, and that's like, shop, you know, one of those things that goes viral? Like, that's the thing that goes viral. You know, there was whispers going around. Oh, he shit in his ass. No. no he he didn't do really that. do that, no. did he? <laughs> oh, yes, he fucking did. Before... 
camera phone and said, I bought a disposable camera. And I remember we walked in and there was that big glass MTV sign. I was like, oh, man, what am I doing in here? Taking photos of that. And, sh -sh -sh. and then me and Joyce, after the meeting, decided, because it was massive open plan offices, we decided to run around the MTV offices, absolute bollock naked. I think Dave just looked and went, that's the, that's, that's the TV deal gone. <laughs> <laughs> I was just there thinking it wouldn't go any further. You know, we went, went for a meeting, like, what do you want to eat? I was like, right, I'll have that steak, the most expensive on the list. <laughs> didn't really think that the, no way on earth that they would have, like, us four, you know, running our own show and... Fucking lo and behold, there it came. We were going to call the show See You Next Tuesday, but they went, but it's airing on a Thursday. <laughs> or a Wednesday. Yeah. Well, that's, that's <laughs> what the, the American hierarchy, yeah, yeah. they didn't quite get that. MT MTV didn't know what they wanted to do with us. So, because obviously they were, they were looking for presenters for this TV show, yeah? To find fucked up people, and then we flipped it, and they were like, oh, right, okay, like, we just want you guys to be... We just want to follow you guys. Yeah, I think, I think they realise we have met the most fucked up people, <laughs> pretty much. It was pretty much like, I suppose, one of the first reality shows, I suppose. What they did, though, they, they literally just followed us around all summer, yeah, with, without no direction, just, like, following us around, going to skate comps, going to events, like, and, in and the Pritchard vs. Day stand, video. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> and the, the show hadn't even been commissioned. They were just... We were, like, just filming stuff for a pilot. It wasn't, like, jobs of the bios. It wasn't, like... The fucking European invasion. It was just us fucking about. There was it? no script, was there? Just a few interviews and us just us just going at it, like. <laughs> you know when you film for like a TV show these days, you get like a massive script. There was no you call, like sheet. A call sheet. sheet. There was no call sheet. <laughs> no. It was just Nothing. Like, perform. It's brilliant. I, I I saw that earlier and I just thought you just, they, they, that's like fucking porn up shit. It, 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 it's it's this wrong. Scat, this piss. The thing's pissing on my face. Joe, I think he's I... got a transit on his knob. Joe's just puking. It's like, I actually look like the only half sensible one. <laughs> and that is saying something. There's the fucking bog brush, people. <laughs> There's the fucking bog brush. The you, bog could not, brush. you could not get away with that these days, could you? That is not curry. That is Joyce's feces. Do you remember the first day when Dan shat in his hand out the back garden, okay. threw it over, straight onto the bed linen? of our new-to-be-next-door neighbours. <laughs> so we started with a massive impression. Yeah, but you know the problem? So the problem was we just moved in and, and basically the guy next door, like, had heart problems. Yeah? The guy next door had heart problems and all he could hear was, like... Um, first of all, he could hear in the house, like, a screaming and shouting. It's because we'd been jumping in stinging owls. So we're in the bath, pissing on each other, trying to, like, you know... You know, the, you know the thing when you got like the, the ammonia in your piss helps the stings? So we were like trying to stop all the stinging out of something like, you know, fucking stinging. And, and they was like, oh, fucking hell. And he's like, someone's pi he's pissing on me and he was screaming and shouting. Sounds like a fucking sex dungeon, basically. I was laying in the bath and Dave was just wazzing all over me. And it's just like, fuck. Oh, and then he's laying in the bath and I, <laughs> and, I, and I was piss, pissing all over him. And... Yeah, he thinks we're fucking filming some weird sex shit. <laughs> well, we were, really. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, we definitely, you know, it, it is that way, looking back. And that's why the police got called, because the guy had a fucking dick he, uh, he went up for fucking us filming fucking dungeon videos in his fucking ne like next door. And um, he called the police, and the police wanted to know why the fuck there was shit all over, his, over the washing line. He was like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? That is still the fucking... The you shit, thing. You, you definitely oh, shit in I your was, own suitcase. I was, I was fucking roomy in with scat, man. How can you not... Look, I admit, I pissed myself numerous times. I used to be a swamp donkey. No longer. Right? Years of abuse. But the shit thing, man, I don't know. OK, all right. The yeah. thing is, right, it wasn't Joyce's usual consistency. All right. So, I don't know, man, who knows? Fuck. You bent that... over, put it's your like... trousers on, and a little bit of poo popped out into your own suit. How would you know that? I think it was, it was like so, a you were so, You were so... I think that... I, could you came in the room and you were going so fucking nuts and blaming me and Dave? There's no way me and Dave shit in it. No way Joyce would have done it because you were sharing room with him. In our head, what in my head, you got so pissed that in your sleep you but slept with like shit in your suitcase. But at was... that moment in time, I didn't know who the fuck to believe. There was shit everywhere. I was like, oh, I don't know. 
No, tell me you were So I came to the conclusion, right, that it was you, purely based on... Joyce is not going to shit in your suitcase. He's in the fucking room with you, right? This is in Arizona, season two. Yeah, but I had that Sanchez. woman in tight. Who okay. knew what the fuck yeah. to believe? Right, ask, answer me this question, right, truthfully, because we've all put a hand on the Bible. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever, I won't mention any names, so, you know, I won't mention any names. Have you ever been in a bath with a new girlfriend <laughs> and, and she says, what the fuck is that? Right? And she, and he goes, what? And, he, and she points out, and there's a nugget of shit in the fucking bath. There's a nugget in the bath. Right? I can't fucking lie, you and know. <laughs> Yeah. And a nugget of shit rises to the top because he farted, and she's like, "What well, then? He goes, "Oh, fucking hell!" <laughs> yeah, that is good. That is completely true. I cannot <laughs> lie about it. Look, I may have to take that back. Maybe the follow-through crew wasn't. <laughs> The follow-through crew. Well, looking back, and if you're seeing what you're seeing, and we're the fairly sober-ish. Well, we've grown up right now. We haven't had a fight over this. We just said we've got to the bottom of it. You swore on the Bible. Oh, yeah. And there it is. You... Yeah, but I can't be sure, though, because <laughs> I tell you, I, 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 look, I genuinely do not recall sitting in my own suitcase. Look, some people don't like my fashion sense. I do. Fashion sense. <laughs> fashion sense. But maybe it was shit at the time. <laughs> like, it, it, it went through my own conscious decision of shitting on my shit fashion sense. But it could happen. I'm fucking fair. I'm fairly sure it has happened right now. Hello! You're the only one around. This is my rock and roll flag. Blood, blood everywhere. Fucking blood everywhere. I'll break it down into. I don't want to just. Go on, but that, that out for me was just like, I don't know, it's like you said, it's like Motley Crew, and we, the four of us just, we went in and we went off. And <laughs> okay. we literally just fucking went, right, come on, let's fucking have it. Our bank accounts were full of money, and we just fucking, just absolutely annihilated drugs and drink and fucking smashed each other up, did stupid things, and fuck, I mean, yeah, that, I, mean I, I mean, most probably one of my fondest stories of that house is being stuck in there with him when we weren't filming. Me and him just sat there, we got loads of beers, had glass bottles, and every bottle we finished, we smashed on the wall. Smash, 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 and then, then we got loads of drugs in, then we bought 100 pills between me, him, and... This other girl. And then, next thing we know, we did 33 pills each. Loads of cocaine, loads of booze. And uh, I decided to go and watch a rugby match. I could Wales not. versus New Zealand. I uh, could make it. And, like, at half-time, I got a phone call saying, I wish I hadn't gone. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need my mum! <laughs> Weren't your parents there at the game? My mum was there at the game, my mum and dad. But I was more entertainment than the game, because people were looking back, well, fuck it, Chuck. Because I could see him, they were going, look, it's like, I oh. oh. My fucking jaw was in Glasgow oh, and my eyes were in fucking Southampton. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, fucking hell. And I remember, I remember walking home going, oh, I need a beer, but I couldn't drink a fizzy lager. I had to have like a Boddington because it was smooth and I drank that on my own. And then I went to bed. And then filming the next and day. And then like, the next knock, day, knock, yeah. Knock. And then, but then, and look, there was another good memory from the house. We were with the crew and stuff, and we were meant to be filming the next day, and we got so fucking off out on pills. One of the guys, we were, I'm not going to mention his name, because obviously he's got family and stuff now, but um, <laughs> he was so fucking screwed on pills, there was, we had a wheelchair in the front room, oh. and he sat there in a wheelchair, <laughs> and this this was like... It's fucking, not Joyce, is it? <laughs> no, 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 but there was... And it was, and it was like fucking, like... Like nine or ten in the morning, you went like this in a wheelchair, and fucking Becky, the director, knocked on the door, ready to have a fresh day filming. She just walked into the front room of all of us chewing our face off, and one of the fucking cameramen in a wheelchair just going, looking like Joey Deacon. Yeah. <laughs> what have you done to him? <laughs> and she was just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> like, how the fuck are we going to film like this? Like, he couldn't film, he couldn't even fucking speak. He couldn't film us. Oh, that's when the snakes come round, wouldn't and they? And then the snakes come round, oh, didn't he? Oh, oh, the so snake. If, any, yeah, yeah. if anyone oh. saw that Sanchez footage when the snake came round, we had sunglasses on and we were in hell of a state and you were fucking sweating. Well, but yeah, my, my anxiety was through the fucking roof because I don't think yeah. I'd been... I don't think I'd been asleep for 48 hours. But going back to that story, me and Joyce picked up this 
cameraman, <laughs> and we'd been on one, and he, we picked him up. We were like, all right, he went, all right. And Joyce's first words were, do you like to pop off? <laughs> <laughs> Flew him a fucking ecstasy pill. Like, uh, he's like, oh, I've only ever done half before in my entire life. He's like, ah, well, pop off then. <laughs> right, fast forward another 12 hours, and it reverts to what Matthew just said. He's in a fucking wheelchair, chewing on Joyce's fucking sister's fucking knee eye boots. Oh, you watched it? The leather boots. He was chewing the leather boots. He was chewing boots. He was chewing boots. <laughs> she went on the boot. Then <laughs> Becky came in on the first train from London and she's like, boys, what have you done to him? No, 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 no. Boys, what have you done to him? And we were like, what are you, what is it? He's just popped off. That's what Tracy came out because I was just like, oh my God. I, I think that day was a right off thought. Um, well, yeah, I think that day was a right off because I don't think the snake thing happened. The snake thing might have happened a day or two after. To jump forward to that, because season one was obviously when you were making it, there's no expectation, there's no pressure, nobody knows who you are. It's just you're having a laugh with your mates. And then season one airs and it's huge and it's like instant success. So when it comes time to film season two, we'll get to your experiences in more detail with making that, but was there from the start a very different dynamic on set? For the first series, we wasted a lot of time because we didn't really know what was gonna work. So we did loads of stunts that just weren't very funny. Like we spent time in bookers jumping out of, off the shelf into people. And it was just like, we spent the whole day and it wasn't even funny. Whereas Turns out the, some of the funniest stuff was Dank just jumping out of a cardboard box in Camden. And it was, ah, oh, let's just do more of stuff like that. Season one was like, fuck around, just, they were just following us, us being us. Season two was like, they had an idea, for their ideas for like, it was like um, kind of more of a structured show where you'd be like, right, you're going to go off and be bricklayers. You're going to go and be hairdressers in Scotland, firefighters, go to the desert in Arizona and become like cowboys. It had that element, which is like, I, it needed it, but at the time, I was like, oh, I, for me, I was like, I felt like I, I wasn't more acted out a bit, like, so I was like, oh, fuck, this is just a, felt a bit more staged. Yeah, it felt for me until, more natural. Yeah, yeah. Until, like, you know, you know, we finished filming for the day and then we got up beers and then fuck about with the camera after. And that was, that was that's where the fun part came yeah. in. Yeah. And that's where, yeah, that's where most of the footage came from. Well, that's how, like, the cactus happened when, you know, you've got the cactus in the face and, and all, <laughs> you know what I mean? Fucking <laughs> hell. No. That's probably one of the funniest scenes. Well, for you, maybe. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got, it was my birthday, it was my 25th birthday. Fuck. Honestly. I, fuck, Jesus. And do you remember that fucking ride going back to the cattle ranch? Yeah. And that's when you know what happened. And you know what happened. <laughs> what? what happened? Oh, fuck. Oh, the snakes. The, oh, the cattle branding. Oh, the the branding. Oh, that DS, was fucking horrible. The, the DS brand, we, we, we all had fucking... Do you know what, Dave? Dick Squad fucking burned on to you. <laughs> Dick Squad. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Dick Squad. I was fucking like, I was like, I ain't having that fucking branded on me. I was like, fair play, it's fucking gnarly, but like, I don't need to have that fucking resume on my body. I'm not getting branded by a fucking... with fucking Dirty Sanchez, like, after MTV fucking trademarked it. Get the fuck out of here. I don't have many regrets in life, right? That's one of them. I'd say, like, on the flight on the way back, I bought these new shorts. Oh, fuck. And it was starting to weep through. And if I remember rightly, they pulled the call date. We were meant to have a fortnight off. But they didn't they bring it like fucking shit? Maybe a week or something. Yeah, yeah. Burns take fucking months to heal, probably. They're fucking burn like that. What the fuck? Are you, are you bleeding? I oh, am. Yeah, Quick, right. film it. Pancho, Milan, stellar anima. You had to step up to the plate, I, I, right? Yeah, well, Pritch went uh, MIA. Pritch is fucking having a massive anxiety attack due to all the shenanigans and what, yeah, like the, the abuse you put on minds and bodies too. So I, I'd never fucking done it before. I was completely smashed out of my head, and yeah, it was very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I remember it completely different, right? <laughs> well, oh, so I wasn't drunk. Oh, no, I, I, Which no, didn't have an anxiety no, I remember attack. Different. What happened then? I, I, I did. Yeah, you've missed out. <laughs> you've missed out big fucking chunks of fucking a uh, fact here, right, Buster? Right. But what it, though? Are we going to fabricate this the fucking, stuff? <laughs> huh? The fucking. 
Like, literally, probably the funniest, one of the funniest moments I've ever fucking, like, been and seen with my own fucking eyeballs in my life. Well, I said I'd never done it before, so... Yeah, but the problem is... Well, I wouldn't do it again. The, the, problem, <laughs> the, the problem started like this. Pritch couldn't do the stellar animal because he, he was having a fucking bad one, so he went back to the room. Joycey took... Uh, is, uh, you took Pritchard's place, put the pipe up, and it fell straight out. And we're in front of... We're in a fucking... Swanky cocktail yeah, bar. Milan bar. In yeah. Milan. Yeah. Fashion Fu people. Yeah, some like weird, weird fucking fashion bar that they didn't fucking know us. MTV booked this place and it was just people having a drink and they had some act on, some, you know, some <laughs> live act. So we're on stage, minus Pritch, because he's. He's had his hair shaved off, he's had a meltdown. He's, he's had fucking... He's, <laughs> well, you've done my hair shaved off by then. He's having a fucking day like, off. He, right? he was just fucking having the anxiety attack melt. Yeah. From the partying and, yeah. So Pancho steps up, right? Gets on his hands and knees. Joyce in his paddling pool. I got the hose pipe. I started pouring it. The beer, I looked down and the beer, the pipe had come out of his ass and the beer was pouring on the floor. I was like, fuck, you've got to put it up. Fucking you've got to put it up there, man. I said, look, <laughs> fuck, you've got to. We fucking need to do this. We're in the This is the end of the fucking show. We've got to get this done. So Pancho just said, right, right, Dave. Goes on his hands and knees. The, got I the know, I just, I don't, I don't have this recollection of it. Like, you oh, I'm fucking telling you. I was watching, like, what the fuck? He bends over, goes, <laughs> like, yeah, that's in there. And then he goes, <laughs> I'm like, that is fucking definitely in there. It must have gone up a that far. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck, seriously. That's why he didn't enjoy it so much. I pull the first beer in. First beer in. Second beer. I think it was maybe only two beers. You're like, fucking Dane, right, right. <laughs> so Joycey, blow. Joycey gets on his hands and knees in the paddling pool, right? All these people are going, what the fuck's going on? You pull the pipe out, bend over, and just go, <laughs> and fucking not a single fucking drop of beer come out of your fucking ass. You All you did was basically projectile shit <laughs> straight in Joycey's <laughs> face, like a fucking mudslide. I think I had a dog cone on my face at the time. <laughs> No, 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 and me, I just didn't want to waste the beer. <laughs> How my shit? In this fucking swanky cocktail bar in Milan, and, and people just start, Half the people just disappeared and left, and the other half went... <laughs> it was like a fucking slow cricket clap. It just levelled the fucking crowd. I, I remember, it. we went backstage in this little place, and you were literally dripping in... Oh. Man, it was fucked. So the beer, like, with, with Pancho put the pipe in... It just must have gone it up gone inside up too him. far. And it just like pushed out a little fucking nug bomb and just boom. The old getting the key from downstairs. Get the key from downstairs, yeah. We're, 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 we're basically saying piss because you're not there. I thought we might come and prank you. Don't know who's who's. Have a poo in it. Have a poo in the wash bags. Yes. So when they open the wash bags. Huh? <laughs> I can't tell you which wash bag. Joyce's, cos he... cos that's his. You don't shit in there. Who's his who's? What is it? You can't take a shit in Joyce's wash bag. <laughs> That one is yours too, Fucking Dan. Fucking sort of remember this, do you? Yeah, yeah. Is that mine sure. or yours, Tickle That's definitely yours. That's no, that's yeah, not mine. I think it was yours, Dan. It is yours, because mine's like a drawstring one. I think I've been kicking mine off. Mine was a drawstring one. There. Uh, Mine, that's it's not mine. I've never had a wash bag like that. Taking my up. I haven't done Maybe it's the like fucking health and safety officers. <laughs> I ain't got a wash bag like that. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, oh no, I think this was mine. I think I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember <laughs> this. <laughs> On the Bible. Dick's coming up. Oh. That is definitely yours. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep up with the rain. I remember that one. That's yeah. a drawstring one. You, like. can, you can yeah. see my bum all going like a fucking... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm 
we just leaned it. Like... <laughs> Oh, God, fuck me. I definitely had that coming to me, though. <laughs> I deserve that. Richard's revenge. <laughs> That's Houston, I'm sure it is. Why did this footage never get used for anything? This is gold. Right. That, that, that is rocket salad from the London bars. <laughs> <laughs> So, fellas, in 2006, you guys released a Hollywood movie. I was meant to get a boob job, and I was going to get one tit done. And, and you would have done that? Yeah, I was ready to do it. And then they went, no, but the healing time takes way too long, so you won't be able to film for the next two countries. And they went, if, you, if one of you gets liposuction, it's way easier to do. So I went to go and do it, and they went, oh, you're not actually fat enough. That's just... Uh, Bloated guts. <laughs> Whereas Pants, he's fat enough. He could do it. <laughs> that was yeah. bad as well. Do, do you know what? The, you know what <laughs> the thing is, right? I actually needed one of the frontal area, you know, because if I am to iron a t-shirt, which is very rare, I have to iron it over a wok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because nothing. I had 400 millilitres out this side. Just streamlined. And 400 mils out that side. Now I need about 20 fucking pints taken up here. <laughs> Especially due to all this lockdown stuff. Which is, by the way, why, why we're not on tour with you, tell you this. <laughs> How yeah. painful was that, dude? How uh, horrendous was that experience? I'm not going to fucking lie. It was fucking horrendous. And I, my tie is next to nothing. But when you're in that sort of agony and they're prodding away and it's going to your hip bone and you're just feeling... I'm just like, what the fuck? You know, it weren't out of vanity. It was so someone could drink it. And you're, you're having the issues with your own mind. I'm thinking, has it really become this? You know, is, is this is what my life has fucking become. You know, I'm getting liposuction so someone can fucking drink it. Before going on our break to say, but it was so fucking ghetto, he was still pissed the night before, and you wouldn't go on a fucking oper operating table back home if you were that annihilated. So he got on there, and he said, Jim, I can't do the other side because there's too much pain. And I said, well, Pants, you're going to have to because you're going to look like that. <laughs> because like he's literally like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, took yeah. the fat out there, and you would have had the fat on there, so he had to go through. They didn't give him any... Uh, anesthetic on the first you, side, yeah. though, to yeah. get a good reaction of him. But, but you know what? I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen, the second side, I fucking have to. On the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> what about off-camera around the world? I know there was something that happened in Russia. And I know there's something happened in Japan as well. But Russia, you were basically, like, detained by the president's guard, right? Man, that was still, still to this day, right? I'll never forget, I mentioned to somebody the other day. We went to Russia, we fucked with, we were in the Kremlin, and we were fucking with the babushkas, because <laughs> Jim Hickey said, oh, you need to do this. Blah, this will be funny. And you, this will yeah. be funny. Oh. And I honestly thought it was a wind-up, and then this fucking, this, this, this unmarked white van turned up and just fucking grabbed us, and I thought, this has got to be part of the filming. And then, yeah. and then realised we got fucking shoved in by the fucking... KGB, fucking, like literally the KGB in the back of the van. It was the, it was the, I know, it was the presence the, guards. The presence guards, and the, 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 yeah, that was, and, that was and, the first. And I thought this, 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 this isn't a joke. And I, my face just went from, I'm a happy man to, like, <laughs> I think man. I'm going to be fucking dead. I looked at him, and I, he looked at me, and the, the, the fear on our faces. You couldn't. Yeah. I'd never seen him shit himself. He'd face. never seen me, and I just went, my life's gone. But never going to see my family again. Just and, and I was dressed just as we were dressed as Russian generals. And you've obviously got cameras got, all on you. Yeah. Took us to the fucking prison yeah. cells, and the, our translator and stuff. He, Sergei. You could, you Sergei, could yeah. tell in his face when he's trying to argue with the the coppers to try and let us off that it wasn't happening. And then I was like, oh, "What is it? Well, what did he say?" Oh, they don't like the fact you're taking the piss out of them, the general guards, and this and that. And, that. and I thought, "Oh God, oh, we're yeah, going to yeah. be that story." 
Never get. Punch was the problem, wasn't he? Yeah, I, I, I was apparently the general, and I was like, "That's oh, okay. Look, there's, <laughs> there's definitely a problem, you know. And he was. He's definitely he, he, I, this is not me being like paranoid with the coppers with the shit and stuff, but he was directly pointing at me, right? <laughs> and, he, and I was saying, "What did he just say?" And he said. Basically, tell that little shit. He doesn't know what it takes to earn those stars and stripes. <laughs> they thought he's a James like Bond baddie, didn't boss. they? He was our boss. They thought he's a fucking James Bond baddie. He was the general. He was the James Bond baddie. He was the fucking man from Atlantis. He was fucking. He was odd job. He <laughs> got an odd job in Thailand. <laughs> oh fucking hell! But the but thing yeah. is, we, we we were behind bars and we thought him all in, all I could think in my head was the next stop was Thailand. And I couldn't wait to get to Thailand. I'm sure everyone else was in the same yeah. boat. I thought, oh, fuck, we're, we're going to miss our flight to Thailand. Thailand's going to be fucked. Bollocks, we're stuck in jail. Our life's gone, everything. And then all of a sudden, they, they sort of battered. They were corrupt. They battered with the producer. And they wanted 2,000 US dollars. So in the end, they paid 2,000 US dollars. They said, right, we're paid. We're free. And we just fucking just, just grabbed all that stuff. And we ran packed all our bags, got to the airport as quick as possible, got on that flight, and it wasn't until I got on that flight that I realised I was a free man. And I remember looking at you going, and we just fucking cheers, and we were going, whoom, whoom, necked it. Landed in Bangkok. Free at last. We free fucked last. the first Thank things God we saw, almighty. and they were blokes. <laughs> oh, God, speak for yourself. <laughs> Let's just quickly... Speak for yourself. Let's just go quickly... Speak for back. yourself. <laughs> yeah, Speak for your fucking self. Yeah, I think that just emphasises the point <laughs> that the only good thing about fucking Moscow in March is fucking vodka. Let's get into the tour stories, but before we do... Oh, yeah. This is, this is some specialist shit. Do you remember the shit you used to do on tour? Is it clear? Is it imprinted in your brain? A lot of needles going through hands, yeah. Forget that, mate. Enemas. That, that's more like it. Dig this. Watch this bit now, he does the head. <laughs> Johnny B. Johnny B. B. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, God, for me. So homoerotic, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> that's it. Yes. Oh. All I'm thinking is COVID. <laughs> oh, no! Bloody hell! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, he's got back for another one! Don't be shy, piss in my eye! <laughs> There's a mudslide about you. What's that? What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck are we doing? Oh my it's god! Just it's just, just, just one show. This is one. <laughs> this is one show. Watch this now. Watch this. I've seen it. This is just. I don't want to watch it again. I didn't see that again. <laughs> red, 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 hey, red, hey. just goes down. And it's just. Hey, what hey. The fuck. Look, look, it is full, full mask on his face. <laughs> oh. oh, there's no need for that. <laughs> no. Oh no, look at that, that's disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just I feel fucking pickled after watching that. <laughs> I I need rehab after watching that, <laughs> seriously. What do you think after seeing that now? It's disgusting. How do you feel? Well, maybe it's because... <laughs> what about, what about I, you, Dan? I, no, don't get me wrong, it's it's, it's fucking funny, but uh, it's Jesus, man. I, I thought he was... That's insane. He was having a good time, though, weren't you? I thought... Yeah, the first... right. 
I thought the first time the pelican went down was in Spain, and that was me to you. I didn't read. Really, you know, that makes it even more homoerotic. That was me to you, to you, to me. Fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> Dan, you look distressed. I was doing a lot of drugs at the time. Fucking <laughs> 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 hell. That, that's all. probably what got us through it. Do you look back at that and just think there is no way on God's green earth that I would ever do anything no. like that ever again? No, I wouldn't do any of that. What about you, Panch? <laughs> In no way. There's got to be a pot or two when you left. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I'll give a I'd fuck. probably smoke the pubes again if I had to, but yeah. that's it. Oh, no, I'd like a plant pot. Yeah. But yeah. it was every day of the fucking week, wasn't it, you know? It was every day of the week. It was like fucking, or like a few times a week at one point for fucking years. I remember we did gigs once, one every night for ten days, and never forget it. And we got caned every single fucking night to come back to my missus at the time, and I just looked. She went, what the fuck's happened to you? Just looked like, a car, looked like a car crash. Because I was running up with room on my legs. With the, the, so I did that leg, that leg, calf, calf, fucking... Oh. Yeah. Do you remember the conversations we used to have? Because we with would the do G Jesus' hand. Jesus' hand, yeah. And we had to alternate it between us. We could so do like, four shows. We could do so four, we do four shows. Before we run out of, like, the, the, those bits to, to, like, to hammer through. I'm sure people are just doing it like 50 times you know, a minute now, like but back then. At that time. Yeah, we was working out between us, like the body parts we had to share between us to see how long we could yeah, do the shows like back to back. Yeah, to like to alternate body parts, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. But there was so like... you wouldn't break down on the road, basically. Yeah, because you, you run out a bit of body, going. you fuck up. You run out of your body, don't you? There's no parts of your body you left yeah, to fuck up. Yeah, but like, there was also yeah, we were, certain we were, stunts we were, of certain people as well, wasn't We were there? working out what we could do to keep the show going. Before we just completely fucked it. But like you did that meat tenderizer every, every night on your leg. It wasn't physically possible, was it? Well, we worked out I could do one, two, three, four, five. I could do six nights. But different parts? Different parts, yeah. Different parts of the thighs, yeah. It's no I think wonder I started when doing you, my forehead at one point. When you watch that, that. <laughs> when people say, like, why did you call it a day? <laughs> when you watch that back, there's only a certain amount of time that even the most extreme of performers can keep that up before we used you to do have it every to call night. time, right? Yeah, especially when you when you add on the fucking the amount of fucking drinking, drug abuse, like the non-stop party and you know the, it, 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 after the shows, which was the worst as well. Because you one, have to do it again the next day. You have to fucking stay up all night and it just became like a fucking mad vicious cycle of you know, fucking... I've got to put this hose up my bum again and fill it with beer. How do you rev up for those shows? Is it literally just beer and drugs to get to the point where that's no. all you can do to... Like, I, like, Joyce did loads of gigs sober. I did fucking tons of gigs sober. I know you didn't really do many gigs sober, but I'm pretty sure you've never done a gig sober. <laughs> 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 I've done enough. I'm like, later on, I started to do gigs after one and two pints. Well, it did get to the point where we did have a rule where it was the two-point rule, and we'd only allowed to have two pints, but I think that lasted... But it was yeah. a night, I think, and then they slowly started going in. But but, but it's definitely we did cocaine a lot, and, it was, and we realised the drugs did not yeah, work. After. So that the drugs stopped, but the booze and continue. And when you're battering each other like that, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, the yeah, pressure's yeah. on to deliver these shows. Are you like when you're on the road? Is that when the cracks start to form? It was around about then, really. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was just such it a was fucking. So just, yeah, too much. Like. Yeah, and we and we were in control of ourselves, mind. It had gone from MTV looking after us. It had gone from us looking after us, <laughs> like a car fucking out of control, going down the fucking mountain road, like it, it, with us in it, no one at the fucking wheel. It was, it, we were left to our own devices, and we were our own bosses, and we could do whatever the fuck we wanted. And um, we were fucking nightmares. We were all fucking nightmares. So it just kind of fucking. Started Before fucking... then, it was quite good fun, but then obviously yeah. then it, it was just pushing boundaries and trying to d do something as far out as you could, and then you know. I think that when you the mixture of alcohol, drugs, doing that every night, and constantly, 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 constantly doing that, constantly, it's gonna fuck anyone's head up. And, and, and at the same, whilst fucking your head up, obviously arguments and fucking falling out and this and that. It's just, so it's all. Just gonna take its toll on you. Yes, part and, um, it's part of the package of. I thought, part of, rock and roll bands always fall out, don't they? 
Yeah, but they, they don't you can shit on each other, though. <laughs> That's the thing, is, like, all these big bands in history that have broken up from being on the road for too long, all they're doing is playing shows. Now, I know there's a certain level of stress and fatigue which sets in with that, but you're literally, as Joyce said, you're, like, destroying each other. Every yeah, well, yeah night. We, we were just living in each other's pockets. We were fucking in each other's pockets, puking in each other's pockets, <laughs> fucking up each Four other's mouths. pockets. It was like you say, you're, you're in each other's pockets. You were fucking, fucking, fucking in lots of people's pockets. You was at one point, weren't you? <laughs> when you when you go when you go when you, every time you get a massive high, you're always going to get a massive low. And then when, when you've did got, it just when you've got a four people low. having a massive low all at the same time, then fucking anger is going to happen. Yeah, it's, 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 fucking, yeah. it's, it's, it's that's just the way it happens, isn't it? So you're getting arguments and bollocks and all that shit, but hey, it is what it is, isn't it? When that, did, that, when... That's why it's taken us 12 years to be sat together filming. And it's been good, right? It's been great. I fucking hate them as it's much as fucking... I hated them before. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. When do the wheels start to come off and when does the train start to derail? Like the biggest difference is, right, we were always fucking about like from the very beginning, but at the beginning we were skating and then fucking about. All we did then was just the, the, the skateboarding fucking. Well, we didn't. Up. There wasn't any skateboarding. It was, it was like fucking minimal skateboarding and then just just non-stop partying. And then obviously, if you're not fucking skating and hanging out and just doing Having that, having fun. Yeah, and you're just fucking. You're in this like mad place where you're like, you know, you've got a great opportunity to make some money, yeah, and have the fucking time of your life, and then like. You just want to live that. I think you just want to kind of live that rock and roll experience as fucking to as much as you can because the the fact that we did what we did and there was a fucking movie at the end of it and it was in the fucking top ten UK box office. We just with all the touring and everything we were doing, we just went fucking absolutely flat out at it. So <clears throat> and, and 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 that's why skateboarding went to the one side and at the end of it, we just fucking there was no skating. It was partying, drugs, and fucking smashing yourself up for non non-stop. And then what's gonna happen? Well, I'd like, I can't. You I'm wouldn't have a break. I found it really hard to hit the off switch. I'm sure you did as well. And, like, you know, and that's, you know, you just, you know, that's when you know you're in the fucking spiral fucking. And I think when you when you get off tour, you miss, you, you, can, you think, oh, I need to get home. And you go home, and you, like you said, you get involved at home as well. And you, and you can't wait to go back on tour then. Because it's, it's, I know, it's like a fucking drug. It's a buzz. I get it. I, I tell you what, fame and, and, and going on stage, it's going on stage in front of loads of people screaming, that's a fucking massive buzz, Alice. Well, that's well, the that's a one, drug, because the it? crowd there is in front of you and you're feeding off them. Yeah, and then when you get off stage, you, you're chasing the same thing, but then that's when the drugs come in and the booze come in. And I don't know. That's, what, yeah, I think, we that's that. what I think anyway. Yeah, not completely. No, no, yeah, yeah, it, that, you, you're forever chasing. You, you've got it, you've tasted it, you've sampled it, and you've just fucking... Constantly want to keep chasing, it, and keep it, chasing it. the fucking same thing yeah. constantly. Yeah. And in the end, they get you. Bam. What, what are you going to say, though? We said there's a lot of bands that have practised their whole life to do this and learn how to play instruments, but we didn't. We just got the instruments and shoved them off our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We, we, we cheated, didn't we? <laughs> we fucking kind of cheated. Really cheated. <laughs> because when exactly. you think about it, like going, going right back to the beginning, right? Like, like you and Pritch come up with the idea of Pritch versus Dayton. That fucking went on and became something fucking bigger than what we ever thought of. Then we went on to do, like, the Sanchez thing. When you consider, when you never had that expectation and things just blew out and out of control and things just snowballed, the balloon got bigger, the fucking... The head-ons got fucking wilder, the parties got fucking madder, and at one point, something's going to give. And it just went boof, didn't it, you know? For me, it was just about making... For people to not take their lives so seriously. and like, To have a laugh. Yeah, have a laugh. But then it turned into shocking people and then it was just grossing people out. And then it just wasn't... I don't think that was really very funny. Well, looking back at it, I certainly don't find And then there was just so much <laughs> drugs involved. But, you know, and, and it, once you chuck drugs in the mix, then it all goes out the window. And it's not about fun, it's just about hedonism. And yeah. I think, you know, once that becomes involved, then everyone's got their own agendas. You know, none of us are doing drugs anymore, and I think we get on much better for it. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on drugs right now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Matthew, I, I, by the way, I'm still drinking. 
what's your take on that kind of closing of that chapter? Being old and going on stage and sticking a drumstick up your ass in front of loads of people <laughs> when you're fucking, when you're 40 something years old, it's just like, oh, hang on a minute, start having a word with yourself. Don't get me wrong, it was, it was good fun, but when that kind of stuff stops being fun, it's time to give up. I need to have another life because I was getting older. So it was time to stop and start concentrating on doing something else rather than doing Sanchez. And, yeah. and, that, and, that, that, and that was it for me, really. That was my decision to say, right, you know what? I enjoyed it. I had fun. I no. got no complaints. It was fucking banging. All good things must come, come to, to an, an end. end. Never a truer word was spoken, Pancho. And the... And, and the, and, the Bible. And, and, <laughs> and the choice was... Let's fucking call it quits. Let's fucking slowly but surely, time's a, time's a good healer. And as we proved here, we're all sat, sat you now talking about it and it's fucking happy days, isn't it? So, it's all good. There was only ever 12 episodes of 40 Towers. There you go, right? Less is more. It's a great fucking fact. It's a full show, yeah. It's a great fucking fact. How did you all find and enjoy the two shows that we did at the end of last year? Obviously, as Panch mentioned, we would have done a bunch more this year were it not for the the COVID, but, you know, was it nice for all of you to, like, sit back down together, reminisce and connect with your fans and relive that time in a positive way again? Did you all feel like you'd reconnected properly again after that? No, no, genuinely, I felt it was, like, as if we we hadn't really stopped. We just, like, picked up pretty much where we left off. Like, obviously, we've all, like, pursued different careers and, and, and well meandered off in our own directions, but I found it a fucking bundle of laughs. Mm. And it was good to reminisce, and especially now, because we're not fucking full of fucking drugs and fucking beating ourselves up every night. And I found, I found it fucking really enjoyable and quite... Yeah, it was therapeutic. Yeah, therapeutic. Yeah. yeah, therapeutic. That's a nice word. I'll use that one. <laughs> yeah. It was no, it was it was a form of form of therapy. I definitely see. What's before you load the tone again? What was really like? <laughs> what was really sweet about that night? Those nights and from like interactions and messages that I've seen, you know, either publicly or what I've heard that you've had privately, is I guess that show and the movie touch people in a way that when they've been having some really shit time, because it's not a polished show, because it's just you guys, warts and all, being, like, real. I think it touched people in a way that made them laugh when their lives were so shit and difficult. And I know you've all individually heard that feedback, and that's a beautiful thing, I think, to see firsthand, like, people who are like, you know, you, your, your show, you fucking each other up, has actually saved me yes, during tough fucking... time. That's a wild and special I've lo- thing. I've lost count of many people have actually come to us all and said, fuck, I went, I went through a really bad time and, uh, like, uh, people, uh, the military, whoever, anyone, anyone. Uh, every time we went through a bad time, I looked at your stuff and you, always put a, you guys always put a smile on my face. That's, 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 that, that, that's, that's quite special. Because I, yeah. I know some people have got really deep and said, you know, they felt like they wanted to end it. And they watched Sanchez and they decided differently because they watched that show and it made them laugh. So that's, well, that's amazing, isn't it? There's one final thing I'd love to ask you collectively, uh, which is just what's your proudest achievement or happiest memory, either or, from everything, from all of it? My proudest moment is... Is getting is, is Pritchard getting my name tattooed on his penis? Because because it's like it's fucking genius. You actually tattooed. People normally have to fucking like, they would fucking give you horse tranquilizers to fucking to keep get you fucked up enough to tattoo. I love. For me to tattoo that I love dating on your dick, right? Now you fucking did it with your eyes open, awake. And paid for it. <laughs> and paid for it. <laughs> and thought that somehow you were fucking him up by I doing know. it. It was really confusing for a bit. <laughs> yeah, but... And that we made up. Uh, but still to this day, every time I have a wank, I look at your name and it's pleasurable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, dang. So this is one of the most... Your most happiest memories, then. <laughs> <laughs> every day. You have to look at your name every day. Every day. Wop, 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 wop. What is, you every, look at it every day. Every day, you go in the shower... And, I and I'm reminded it. of Daint. Yeah. Got... I, I had Daint. 
Uh, what you must just like not see it anymore. It must be so. It must be that you just looks like well, a little. It's next to another fucking absolute tremendously it, terrible do you fucking tattoo. Like? Oh my god, we got in the fucking jungle that we got persuaded to have, which we didn't need. What was that? <laughs> and it's just I like a, mean, it's just like a mess. I, don't know, right? I just literally got a messy cock. It's just full of tattoos. It's just full of fucking black ink. <laughs> it's full of smoke. Party bollocks what on my balls. You don't think about sex. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean they got lots of pro moments and stuff, but yeah, I mean that that is pretty fucking. Funny. The fifth Beatle! Yeah. 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 <laughs> am I actually am I actually mean it? <laughs> My brother is in here, love you too. Yeah. We're about yeah. you crazy. It's been great, it's been an amazing journey. And we'll jump off of a cliff if you are stars. And we'll do it again if you pay us. Stinging nettles in our mouths, chilli sauce in our eyes A staple gun to my bollocks to a fairground ride Heading from the valleys to the big time Drinking our own piss and making hay while the sun shines A group of mates intent on having a laugh Who have a tendency to go too far The money, the drugs, the fortune and fame For putting your own shit in your own face We're a bunch of crazy motherfuckers Dead devils and pranksters Groundbreaking skateboarders I'll happily saw off my finger For your viewing pleasure Oh, we're a bunch of crazy motherfuckers Crossing the line again, extremely extreme Never know what's gonna happen if I ever fall asleep Spray paint, semen, human flesh I'm Johnny Cash, let's snort some ash And tour the sideshow all over the world Showing everybody what a boy oh knows The tent is rammed, the crowd goes ballistic Is someone gonna die tonight for a party trick? We're a bunch of crazy motherfuckers more rock and roll than Motorhead The band without the instruments And carnage comes to whatever we put our minds to Apparently it's got entertainment value oh, We're a bunch of crazy motherfuckers And we'll jump off of a cliff if it suits us